Hello everyone, today's topic is about the wealth, benefits and other benefits of our spiritual friends, our imaginary friends, our Obanje people, our Abiku, Ebeorum, you know, spiritual friends. This is the topic that I want to teach today because some people, they know that they have spiritual friends, but they don't know the benefits of spiritual friends. Mm -hmm. Some people then only know some benefits of the spiritual friends, okay? If I can finish what I want to say in this video, there is going to be part two, okay? So anyway, what are spiritual friends? For those of you that don't know what spiritual friends are, spiritual friends are our friends from the dimension that we reincarnated uh, from to this physical earth. These are people that we used to be parties with, we used to play with, you know? People that, that used to be very cl close to us. I call them people, but they are spirits, okay? <laughs> they are spirits, you know? They don't have physical body. So these are friends that can never betray us. Friends that always stand for us, that always intercede for us. That will go to any length to make sure that we succeed our spiritual friends. Our spiritual friends are more trustworthy hmm, than physical people. Then your physical friends that you make on this physical earth, your physical friends can betray you for money. They can betray you for business deal. They can betray you for maybe a relationship that you have that they are trying to snatch from you. There are many things that our physical friends that they cannot do for us. Some of us, when we have problems, our physical friends, that this is when you know the, your real physical friends. But our spiritual friends, they, they are in our destiny contract. Attached to our destiny contract, they are part of our personal spirit guides, part of our guiding angels. Mm? And we have the same purpose, the same goal while we came to this physical earth. And they are here, they are here to help us fulfill our destiny, depending on the abilities that they can do that you have agreed on for them to assist you with. So this is what our spiritual friends represent. Our spiritual friends are not evil. Our spiritual friends are not evil witchcraft coven activities. <laughs> because some people, they confuse imaginary friends in the English word that they call it. Our spiritual friend, our banje, our abiku, abirum. They, some people imagine it like, peop, like, like witchcraft coven where people go for evil assignments. It's not the same. Witchcraft coven is the one that they initiate you in this physical earth. And they will be manipulating your spirit and using you in their coven. But these ones are our friends, spirit that is attached to us. Hmm? That came into this world with us. Some of them, we have agreement that they should accompany us to it. Why some of them, we have agreement that we will connect to them and they will assist us whenever we, are, and we need the assistance. Okay? So they are different. Okay? Spiritual friends, what can they do? <laughs> Just know that everyone on this physical earth have spiritual friends, but spiritual friends have different categories, different things that they can do, different groups. So, which group are you? Which type of group of spiritual friends do you have? Hmm? <laughs> that is a question you can ask the spiritualist so they can do spiritual consultation and find out the group of spiritual friends you have and their abilities. Yes, they have abilities. <laughs> so I'm going to use myself as an example to tell you some things that spiritual friends can do. But the spiritual friends, you know, your spiritual friends might not be like my own, and my spiritual friend might not be like your own, but there is one goal that they, they have to assist you, to help you, to protect you. <laughs> so anyway, our spiritual friends are here to guide us. Some individuals, their spiritual friends are the ones that carries their, their glory, their wealth-making abilities, their wealth, their money. It lies in the hands of their spiritual friends. Mm? <laughs> I know that spiritual husband can also carry our money, but spiritual friends can also carry money. Depending on the type of spiritual friends that you have, Obanje people have money a lot. This is why when you hear someone is an Obanje, check the person's life. If Check their life, you see that they are very successful people, especially those ones that have put their ability into practice, like they have business, they have something doing. Most of Banjay people are very popular, <laughs> you know? So anyway, I made a list, <laughs> because when I had interaction with my spiritual friends, and they gave me some list, I'm going to I'll be pointing out some things that spiritual friends or Banjay people can do. <laughs> So that you take your spiritual friends more seriously than, than you used to think. They are more important than most people think. Okay? 
the benefits of spiritual friends money <laughs> they can make you very very wealthy very successful they can bring money to you by connecting you to the spirit in charge of money in your dimension and the spirit in charge of your money will not give you money in the spiritual realm and they will deposit it in your spiritual bank account once your money begins to rise get to a certain level it will begin to manifest in the physical realm where your business will begin to boom or people around you will bless you hmm? if you are around people that have money that are generous they begin to bless you even then they will touch those people to bless you they can give money hmm? like my own spiritual friends they connect me to a spiritual bank in the water dimension and they will tell me straight, you can't get to this place without us. So, spiritual friends can give you money. You know, they can give you money a lot. Mm. So, money, they can give you money. Protection, your spiritual friends can protect you from evil attack. If you have good relationship with your spiritual friends, they can protect you from different type of evil attack. Evil spirit attack, evil witches and wizard attack. Your spiritual friends can do it for you. Mm? And if you have enemy that is trying to delete you, <laughs> some of our spiritual friends, they are dangerous. Mm? If someone's trying to attack you, they can delete the person, depending on the kind of spiritual friends that you have. So anyone that have an Obanji, be careful with the person. Don't, make, don't annoy the person. Don't get the person pissed. As long as the person, they are innocent, and you go and do something to them, and they report you to their spiritual friends, your own is finished. They will destroy a lot of things in your life. So... That's the one thing spiritual friends can do. Another thing spiritual friends or Banjay people can do is they will make you popular. Celebrity spirits. They come with the ability to make you very popular, very successful. And some of you guys used to dream that you're having dinner with this popular person. You're having interaction or encounter with someone that is popular. Okay? They will use a face of someone that is popular in the physical world. But it's the spirit that you have that can that have the ability to make you popular, successful. The spirit of celebrity or banjay people, they, they give it to people, your spiritual friends. Okay, your spiritual friends can make your business very successful. They make it boom. Other people might try the business, they will not be successful. But when you try it, and as long as you have gone to inform your spiritual friends to help you make that business successful, you'll, you'll be successful more than other people. They will bring clients for you. They make it very successful, spiritual friends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Another thing that spiritual friends can do for you is connection. They will connect you with good people that is going to help you in your life. Spiritual friends. And spiritual friends can also bring relationship. They can connect you with a man or woman that they know is that is good for you. They can connect you with your life partner. Your spiritual friends can do that. <laughs> Some spiritual friends can do healing and deliverance. They have the power. They are many. They can heal you. If you're sick, you go to them. Your spiritual friends can do healing depending on the type of ability they have. So it's good to confirm what your spiritual friends have so that you can begin to tap into it. You know, because it's part of your, your gift. They are the one in charge of it. They are the one holding it. You go to them, you collect. Okay, another thing that spiritual friends can do, especially those ones that are female ones, the female group of the spiritual friend, they can give you children. They can make you conceive if you've been having difficulty in having children. Spiritual friends. Hmm? Another thing that spiritual friends can do is they can do your relationship to be sweet and stable as if you have done love spell. Even controlling the relationship, spiritual friends. Hmm? <laughs> so anyway, and if you have a child that is very stubborn in school, that is very disrespectful and stubborn, if you want that child to be calm, one of the things that you can do is to go and appease their spiritual friends and tell their spiritual friends what is going on. Ask them to make sure that the, guy, the, the child can be respectful and do well in the school. Okay? I'm going to make part two of this video so that I'm going to tell you how you can appease your spiritual friend, how you can connect to them so that they can be able to bless you. So with this video, you know that there are many things that spiritual friends can do. Remember that our spiritual friends are not the same. You know, your spiritual friend might not have the same ability like me, okay? But there are many things that they can help you and they have connection. Some of us come with hundreds of thousands of spiritual friends in different groups, in different group, and each of those groups have different things they are doing. Hmm? So watch out for part two.